So I am 38 weeks and I thought it'd be fun to finally give you guys a haul of like everything that we have. So pretty much a lot of this stuff is gifts from friends and family. And then um, some of the stuff is things that we've bought. But I do want to just go through and kind of just do a big baby haul of everything that we have for the baby. I was watching a bunch of different videos like this of trying to figure out like what I wanted to get for the baby. And also I had some really good resources because my sister just had a baby like... A year and a half ago so a ton of resources that i had to let me know what to get so i figured it might be helpful to give you guys some ideas if you're expecting or just planning or something like that and want to see maybe some things that you want to get for when you have a baby or for your baby if you are expecting so there's a lot of stuff so we should just go ahead and get right into it before being pregnant like you know that you're gonna need a lot of stuff but then when actually you're into it like there's just so many little things that make life easier more efficient for having a baby so not everything that i have will be things that you need or want and there's probably a lot more stuff that you probably could have to make things even more efficient but these are just things that i thought would work well for my life and what i find necessary to be more efficient and also just general necessities for a baby so let's go ahead and get right into it because there's a lot of stuff that we have to go over and a lot of stuff that i want to show you so first i want to go through all of like the bigger stuff that's just like kind of sitting directly like on the floor plan of the room. And then we'll dive into the closet because the closet has a bunch of stuff and that's where I'm like basically holding everything and that's more of like the little stuff and it's a lot of stuff. But we're gonna start with like the bigger stuff that's just in the room and then we'll go into the closet. Since I'm sitting here, we'll just start off with the first thing. And I actually just got this in. I kind of waited to do like all my furniture till the very end just to see, I don't know, the space and stuff like that. And technically baby doesn't like live in the nursery right away so i needed to make sure that i had all the other essentials first but the fun part is getting the furniture so the chair aka the glider that i'm sitting on right now is by nurture and but it's like this light white tan it extends all the way back and it also rocks back and forth so lots of different options so since we're right here just talking about the glider i just have my boppy right here so this boppy i actually got from my sister and then i just purchased a cover for it so lots of different things that you can do with the boppy but right here just for starters so in the very beginning you can use this as a feeding tool so this would wrap around your body and then you'd feed your baby on it and then as the baby gets older they can actually use it for propping up tummy time etc but this is my boppy i don't really have like a theme necessarily but i just kind of got what i like so just moving around the nursery if you guys haven't watched my whole nursery video I suggest you watching it because I'm not going to go super in detail with all the furniture, but this is just my dresser. It's from Namesake. So this is what the dresser looks like. This is the baby's crib. So this is also by the Namesake collection, the same as the dresser. And I have the Halo mattress and it's a breathable mattress. There's just sheets on it and the sheets are from Newton. And since I made sure that we had a breathable mattress, I wanted to make sure that the sheets were also breathable. So they're like a muslin material. So next I have this little diaper genie is what I like to call it. And everything that I'm talking about, I'll have listed in my description down below. So you guys can easily find it. But I think it's cool because basically you can carry this around, put your diapers, your wipes, creams, anything that you need, and then if you click this button, it's kind of hard to see because it's daylight out, but right there's a little light. It lights up so you don't have to turn on like all your lights and wake the baby up or wake anybody else up. But to do a quick diaper change, you can put everything in here. Next up is the Nanit. So this is actually like one of the first gifts that we got for the baby. So this is the baby monitor that will stay in the baby's room. The Nanit, this brand actually has a bunch of different options that you can like get for stands as far as like if it goes onto the wall. But we just have this stand. We actually technically have the old base. This is what the old base looks like. It's almost like a tripod where the new base now doesn't really look like this. So the new base has a lot like better options as far as setting it up in a room, but this works fine for us. On the topic of baby monitors, this is my second baby monitor that I have. This is actually a wireless baby monitor, but I'm charging it. So you can move the camera all around wherever you need it. You can bring it to your living room, bathroom, wherever. This is the Ufi brand. So this is the camera part of it. And here is the actual monitor part. So again, it's charging, but it is wireless and you just bring it all around with you. This is one of our bigger pieces for the baby and this is the swing. So this was actually my sister's. So we didn't purchase this. She's technically letting us like borrow it until if she has another baby, but 
it just swings and there's different levels on it here and then you got the little mobile that'll move around and all this fun stuff i think it actually makes noise and stuff i haven't really played with this to fully learn how it works so one of my favorite things that we have is like our stroller car seat setup so lots of loaded stuff on here for the haul and i will go in depth with it there's actually another piece that came with it there's like a full set with this stroller that you can get but i only got like what i technically thought i would use but let's do a little tour of it right now i have the car seats in this so these car seats my sister actually gave us for the baby because we ended up getting different car seats too so we didn't need to buy the car seats as like when the baby is really little so this is the car seat and it is the upper baby car seat and it attaches right into this stroller setup and then there's other attachments like i said and i'll show you those but this is the base so we have two of these bases we actually have two of these car seats too one for mike's truck and then one for my car it's super easy to put this in here you just click the button on top here and you can take the baby off the stroller and then to put it back and now i'm doing this with one hand so let's see how easy it is and just like that it clicked in i have this little portable shusher in here that i'll keep on here so that the baby has a shusher she's trying to sleep in the car then i have two fans and maybe this is excessive but i just kind of put them on here just for fun because it's super hot out right now but this fan clips onto here it can actually get clipped anywhere but i thought it was kind of nice to have this little easy clipping option this one's a little bit more convenient for me because this one just takes batteries now this one is what i see a lot of other moms have because the stand on it is like a tripod which this stand can pretty much grab onto anything because you can manipulate the legs but this one does have to be charged so not super convenient so i figured just having both options is good then for the stroller i got this little drink holder compartment honestly storage compartment you can put your phone in here like this keys anything and then on this side i have this cup holder and i could put my drink in there or it perfectly fits like a baby bottle so this cup holder and this little storage compartment they are both by the same brand the upper baby brand so that's pretty much it for our setup with the stroller and our car seats for now so the last piece of like maybe like furniture besides the bassinet that we have is this little baby bouncer jumper and this is the baby bijorn one again my sister gave me this the actual base of it and then i bought the cover for it so they have a lot of different covers for it um, i wanted to go with this mesh one just because i heard good things about it if the baby has a blowout or something like that and it's still really cozy and comfortable so i went with the mesh one if i need to adjust i can always get another cover for it but having the base from my sister already was a good starting point moving on to the more fun stuff so my diaper bag i actually got two of these so mike's gonna have one and i'm gonna have one it's actually a pretty large diaper bag it's by the brand bays so b-e-i-s and there's just a ton of compartments in here and it's a backpack so it is pretty large but this is just what i thought would work well for us next i have this dyson so i got this as a gift and this is like a air purifier fan sort of moving into the closet there's a lot of stuff in here the closet doors aren't fully open but i want to just kind of begin here so a couple things we still have in boxes and this is going to be like in my prepping video so this is a baby gate we got this off of amazon so we're going to use this in front of the baby's room so that the dogs can kind of get used to the baby but not being able to fully have access to the baby but just so that they can see the baby same concept here with this playpen so this is like a very large playpen and i got it in the color beige but again haven't opened this up yet this will be for the baby prep video because this is actually going to go in my living room and again this is so that the dogs don't have full access to the baby but they can still play with the baby and i think this is like the last piece of furniture this is my bassinet and again we're gonna open this up and put this together in the baby prep video that you guys will see so make sure you keep an eye out for that because this is like one of the last pieces of furniture that we need to open and it's actually a really important piece of furniture pretty much opened the doors fully for you guys to see everything in here and there's so much stuff because a ton of it needs to come out because now that we're at the point of prepping for the baby it's time that we actually take the stuff out and start using it but i've had this set up for a bit now when we had gotten all of our stuff i just needed a place for it to go so kind of how the closet is set up is stuff that i need in the future here diapers and then this side is stuff that i'm going to be using right away so all this honestly is going to be coming out today I'm going to set it up because we are going to be prepping for the 
arrival of the baby. They have tons of clothing. So these bins right here are all clothing, this bag, tons of clothing. And I actually have separated them by age range. And I'm going to wash all of them. And they're just sitting in there for now. I have this little basket that I just got as a gift. So I'm going to put this in the nursery somewhere. But it's just been kind of hanging out in there. Then we have our bathtub. And I'm super excited for this bathtub. So here's the insert for when the baby is newborn. But this is the bathtub. So it'll tell me the exact temp of the water. So this again will come out. Everything on this side is mostly stuff that needs to be easily accessed. So I have the play gym, which I will maybe open up. Um, now that the nursery is done, so I might put that together, but this, again, the baby is not going to need this for a while, so this is just a little jumper toy, so that'll get opened as time goes on. Then I just have this little box of toys, so things like this the baby will be able to play with sooner than later, but then there's other toys in here, like this water mat that the baby will need to be a little bit older for, but just some miscellaneous toys in there, so I have this little toy box. So without taking everything out of this closet right now, this is the other attachment that comes with the stroller. So an infant can go in here. Right now though, the car seat is just more efficient for me. So that's why I'm using that. But eventually I will use this if I just take the baby on like a little stroller or something like that and don't want to have the baby in the car seat. So this is the actual seat that it comes with. Again, they even have like a little bassinet attachment that you can get, but I didn't think that was gonna be useful for me. So I didn't get it. This is just a foam wedge and it will help with tummy time. So that's just sitting in here because sooner-ish than later, we will be able to use this. I have a humidifier. This is by Frida Baby. So I'm actually gonna put this in the nursery. So it's on the dresser or on the windowsill or something like that. And then same thing up there with the air purifier. That's the Frida Baby air purifier. Then all the way up top there, I have the Avent by Philips baby bottle warmer. My sister used this one, so I have a lot of experience with that one, and I really like it. Then right here, we have our baby Breeza, and this is to really get a good sterilize and washing on the baby's bottles. So moving on to this side, this is a baby activity walker, so that's why it's on this side, because this stuff is definitely going to be later on in the baby's life. If you have a registry or friends and family or a baby shower that you're going to have, like put things that you're going to need even far in advance because like the time will go by fast and then you're gonna find yourself needing that stuff and it doesn't necessarily go bad. Car seats, they do expire, but they really shouldn't be expiring by the time that you need them if you're currently pregnant or about to have a baby and you buy car seats for a little bit in advance. That'd be the only thing that could possibly get outdated, but just check on that. Um, but they should be perfectly fine. But just thinking ahead, even diapers go super far in advance if you can. Time is gonna fly and we're gonna need them way sooner than we actually think and we won't have to try to start again and try to get more things, we'll have them. So next up is the Nutribullet for the baby. So this is so I can make fresh baby food. So starting around six months, I can start to explore with that. So we have my baby Nutribullet. So this is actually an eight in one high chair by Maxi Cozy, but it's the Moa one. So I could probably use this one a little bit sooner because there's so many different options as soon as the baby can sit up on his own. And then this is what I mean, these are my two car seats, so these, are more of like the stationary car seats that you can't remove from the car like my other car seat. The other car seat right now is a little bit more convenient, but there was a good sale on these ones. And these are really nice car seats. So I got the Rava and then we got them in the color black. So one for my car and one for Mike's truck. So we have those, so those are there. We won't have to even worry about it when we do the transition. On top of the closet, so this is just like oversupply of diapers because I have diapers in other places too. But this is size two, size one. I don't remember what size this was. I tried to angle these so I could read everything and see it. Um, but we're going with the Coteri brand for now. And then up top, I have size threes. And then these are all wipes. These are not the Coteri brand. I don't really remember what brand they are, but... There's a bunch of wipes. I think each of these boxes are 10 packs. So we have those. My sister gave us those. So moving on to little stuff. And then I have a couple of big things back there. These are just my shampoos um, and my baby washes because I don't really know where to put them for now. But eventually I'll have these like under like my sink or wherever I bathe the baby. But for now they're in here along with this as well. Because this is just like the little pitcher for bathing the baby. So moving on from that, we have some random stuff here. So... This is my baby car monitor. So Mike and I each have 
one of those. So again, in my baby prep video, we will be setting up our baby monitors in the car. So then I have more little sound machines. So this is the hatch rest mini, and then this is the hatch rest. This is like the big size of it. So this one's actually gonna stay in the baby's room all times. And there's a little night light on it. And this one I'm gonna put in my room because when the baby is newborn, they'll be in the bassinet. So it'll be in my room, but this one will stay in the baby's room. Then we have one of my pumps. So this one is a non, I guess, portable one because it does need to be plugged in. But I just have it sitting up here because again, this is my stuff that I need to access more frequently. So I just have my pump here. Then I have this little bunny, which you can actually refrigerate it or you can warm it up in the microwave and make it warm and nice and cozy. So this is a, another sound machine, but it's just like a cute little lamb and my mom got it for me. So super cute. And then next up here, I have my weighted swaddle. So I only have one of these. I actually was going to get a bunch in case like the baby had a blowout or spit up or anything like that. And I couldn't wash these, but I'm just like not fully sure if I'm going to be using a weighted swaddle yet. So just kind of thinking in advance, I have one if I need one. If it doesn't work for us, you know that I didn't buy a bunch of these because these are not very cheap, but these are a really good brand and if I'm gonna go with any weighted swaddle, it's gonna be this brand. As you guys can see a trend here, we have a lot of Baby Bjorn stuff, but this is the baby carrier. And I got this one in this like mesh and it's called One Air because it's like a lightweight. And as you can see, it can go from many different life stages of the baby, newborn, and then you can have it facing in, facing out, and then on your back as the baby gets bigger. So my thought is just going out to the barn or doing things like that. Mike and I can either use this and we can put the baby right in. We can continue on with life. This is again for my stroller. So another attachment. So this one is actually an infant snug seat. So it's this piece right here that sits in this piece. So this is when they're a little bit bigger than being an infant. And then this is actually so that they can sit nice and snug in there as an infant. And then my seat right here. I wish I could pull this out for you guys, but I don't feel like it. There's just so much stuff. But this is a attachable seat it looks just like this it attaches to the tables and you can bring this with you to restaurants you can put it on your table and it's just to give them like a high chair pretty much anywhere it's basically a portable high chair so the last bit of stuff is actually all in these white drawers and they're not like perfectly like organized how i want them to be but for now this is what i'm doing so i just have some wipes so these are the wipes that were up there so i can tell you the brand now these are pipette wipes so i just have wipes in here but honestly there's so much more room i don't know if it's going to stay like that i just thought that probably needs to be accessible nothing in here just dividers so if i get more stuff that's where that will go then in here these again i wanted them super accessible so these are the newborn size goteri diapers so i just thought those would be easy to have here i will maybe take them out and set them up in here so it's easier to access but for now they're just in there then i have all my pumping supplies so this is for the pump that I showed you guys. And then I actually have a wireless pump too. So my sister gave me that. So those are some more pumping supplies. Next drawer has to do again with nursing. So we have just a bunch of random nursing stuff in here. Nursing pads, the bags, a bunch of sample bags, nursing pads, haka, just a bunch of different stuff for nursing. Moving downward, more wipes. So I have the Coteri wipes and then pipette wipes coming down here this is like my miscellaneous didn't really have like a place for it but this is stroller and carrier netting so for bugs and such and then this is what i was saying earlier that came with the nanit this is a breathing band not super sure about this but it does come with it i have like all my manuals and stuff here if i need to look through them so as you can see for the fan the cameras and such these that i got as a gift so this is to do like the one month two month pictures this handy hook. So these are kind of things that I didn't necessarily ask for on my registry, but I ended up getting anyways, and I still think that they could possibly be helpful. So you can hook your bags onto your stroller. Then this multi-use cover, so you can cover yourself when you're nursing, and then you can actually use it as like a seat cover for a cart. So a bunch of different things that you can use with this. And then just some baby books, I put them back in here. So this is like my miscellaneous drawer. Moving down, this is like the fun drawer for me. I don't know why, I just had so much fun with this. So this is like my health and wellness drawer. So I have thermometers. Here's another thermometer. Cold relief, this Genexa, kids pain and fever, then little baby safety swabs, cotton swabs for babies. All of these 
they're teethers but they're actually like more so toothbrushes so i have these separated from my other teethers because they're a little bit different and then in here this is all the frida baby stuff like nail clippers in here snot blowers and stuff little baby nail files so i just keep that in here it came with this nice little case so then i also have this again by frida baby so this is like a little booger picker but it's like a very multi-use one you can flip them around i thought i knew how to do this flip them around get different little options here these are the little gas passers we have here so a bunch of just like health and wellness stuff in here and then the saline nasal mist by the boogie brand and then back here i have a lot of my bathing stuff so i like having these little containers here because i can just pull everything out and then it's not like a super big mess so pulling this forward here i have this little scrubby for the baby's head and there's a little stand so i thought that's kind of cute and then a little comb again it's almost like a little curry <laughs> just for a cradle cap and such i have so many different brushes here's another one this one's a lot softer and then there's also another comb in there this is by frida baby most well, is all this stuff right here is from frida baby this is by pipette so this is a baby shampoo and wash so this was a sample so i kept it just to try to find the right things for the baby but mostly what i'm using is this babo botanical so you'll see that in my baby wash like i showed you and then this is for lotion and this is healing ointment relieves dry and itchy skin this right here is my diaper cream so as you can see the trend here is this babo botanicals brand and then two other samples that i got and then the last thing is this little bum co diaper rash cream spatula so you just put your cream on there and you can wipe the baby's bum with this i think this is super cute and it sticks so this is definitely going to be in my little diaper genie thing so this drawer again there's not too much like going on in here but i just kind of put some stuff that i thought would be good so this is newborn foam wash which this one actually should be in the other drawer but whatever i probably didn't have any room then again same brand this is mineral sunscreen spray so you know we do a lot of things outside so i'm just gonna make sure that they're always protected then we have these little face sunscreens and these are super convenient because it's like a little chapstick so super convenient easy to use but then for the rest of these these are all passies or passy supplies so, so pretty much all like the same type of passy same look but then we've got these cute ones and these are the Wubba nubs. so we have the little horse we have this cute monkey and then we have a little pacifier holder case but on my digger bag i also have these so it's just kind of helpful to have this last thing in this drawer are all my teethers so these ones you can actually put in the freezer and they have that material in them where they'll freeze like an ice cube. Same thing, this one has water in it so you can freeze these. But so last but not least in the last drawer, this is pretty much everything for in the future. So they're super cute though. Like I said, get things that you need in the future because it will go by fast. So these are little spoons, but they're like soft and squishy. I don't know, they're cute and they look at the fork. It's so adorable to fit their little hands. But this is more so when the baby is ready to eat on their own so we've got regular spoons in here so much stuff for just like feeding and then these bibs are more so good for that time because they can collect the food and then we have sippies so much stuff plates so this is for the future stuff so that's why this one's at the bottom because i don't need to access this one as much i almost thought i was done because i was in with the closet but then i forgot i have one more bin of stuff that we have to go through that I don't really have a space for yet because I'm gonna be using them a lot. So let's go through that bin and that's the last of this. I feel like this haul has been going on forever. Like I said in the beginning, there's a lot of stuff that you need for a baby. So sorry if I feel like I've been doing speed run with this, but it's just so much stuff and it's a lot to take in. So for this last like miscellaneous box, there's kind of a little bit of a theme to it. Some stuff that I needed to wait to put away for when we were actually like prepping for the baby, which will be happening now. Some stuff that I need to wash and mostly it's like bath stuff that like I said, I'm gonna be putting under like a cabinet where we're bathing the baby. So it's kind of just sitting in here for now. This is like, need to move all this stuff out of this room box. So it's gonna stay in one box. So we have a three pack of these hooded towels and then more, I like these Burt's Bee ones. So these are so cute. There's little ducks on them. So more hooded towels, but I do want to make sure that I'm washing everything first just because. So that's why they're still in here to get washed. Now another hooded towel by Burt's Bee. This is just a gray one, <laughs> more towels. These are hooded as well. And this is by the brand Cloud Island. And then we have this funny one that kind of looks like a sloth. I don't know. 
sloth hooded towel. I guess you can't have too many towels, and I thought this one was really cute. So it's a little shark, but it's a hooded towel. Then we have a whole pack of burp cloths. So again, likely we'll need to be using these sooner than later. So whole pack of burp cloths. Not really on the bathing set of things, but still. Now, these ones are so cute. They're little baby washcloth. These are by Bird's Bees again. And then we have this bath spout cover. It's a little whale. These are brush sets to clean like baby bottles and such. So I do just need to bring these into the kitchen. I just haven't yet. Same thing with this. So this is a dishwasher basket. So you can put all the pasties in here, the bottle nipples and such. So it'll just go in here so they don't get lost and thrown all around the dishwasher. So again, this just needs to go into the kitchen. And then the last thing that I have in this box is this refrigerator. So I'm actually gonna have this refrigerator next to my bed on my nightstand. So basically when I'm pumping at night and just need to put it in the refrigerator, it can go in here. And also if I need like a drink or something like that, I can have it in here, but this is primarily just for pumping and putting the milk into the refrigerator right away so I don't have to go into the kitchen. Again, I almost forgot, but literally the last thing, I keep talking about my bottles and these are all the bottles. I have them in here because I'm just going to wash them. So the brand that I went with is this Tommy Tippy brand and these are the glass ones. I do have some silicone ones in here, but this is the brand that I like. So this one's like their bigger size one and this is like nine fluid ounces. Then I have some smaller ones in here. Let me see if I can find one, but. This is like the silicone version of that nine fluid ounce one. And then look how cute this is. This is the smaller one, but this is the silicone one. So I have these also in glass. So I just have the glass and the silicone one. So these are the bottles we'll be using. So that is my baby supply haul. So it's everything pretty much that we have that I can think of. I feel like maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's in the house somewhere, but that's the majority of it. There's so much stuff. I feel like I was going through everything once again, which doing this video at 38 weeks was kind of good for me because I put all this stuff away when I was like 32 weeks. And I know that doesn't seem like too far away, but the ending here, baby brain is seriously like so crazy, like pregnancy brain. And I just forget everything. There's multiple times throughout this video when I was like, what is that called? What is that called? And I'm like, these are normal things. I know what they're called, but it was kind of good to do like another like inventory recap on everything that I have. So fun thing about that now is now that I'm done showing you guys the big haul, we are going to be now prepping for the baby's arrival because like I said, I'm 38 weeks and the baby can technically come anytime now. So if you guys like today's video, make sure that you do give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget if you guys want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel down below. And if you have any other suggestions or let me know what you want to see, just let me know in the comments. Are right, you guys? Well, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.